Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today we are diving into a brand that is pretty new to me. It is the brand KB Shimmer. They do nail polish. It's an indie nail polish brand and I've been keeping an eye on that brand for several years. They've been on my radar but it wasn't until this past November during the Black Friday sale that I pulled the trigger and bought some nail polishes from their brand 16 to be specific and I thought I would do a dedicated video kind of showing you my thoughts on these polishes and give as much detail as I can on them in case you're interested in any of them if you are on a no buy or low buy this is a disclaimer coming right now if you are on a no buy or low buy you should probably click out of this video right now because I really don't have anything bad to say about these polishes. I would highly recommend them to anybody interested in some unique polishes that are beautiful, beautiful polishes. So I did try to do some live like videos of nail polish swatches. I don't think any of them really turned out. I couldn't get the angle of the camera just right so that you could see them applying. So it would be kind of pointless, but I did take pictures of each Manny. Um, I didn't use a top coat because I was doing these swatches back at one after another and so I did not use a top coat on any of these polishes. I did do two coats of each polish and in some of these pictures my hands probably look a little dry because I didn't want to like slather on a whole bunch of lotion just to take a picture and then wash it off and take off the polish and do it all over again. I was just trying to get these swatches in. I, I don't know what the tricks are to being a nail polish swatcher. If any of you are familiar with how to set up a camera so that you can do accurate nail swatches and how to get nice pictures one after the other, let me know because I am new to this whole nail polish modeling world, but I thought I would do my best to show you guys my thoughts about these polishes. So let's get into it. The first polish I have, which is the lightest shade, is this one right here. It is called Up to Snow Good. All of the names on these polishes are kind of cute. So this is Up to Snow Good. This polish is described as a holo glow flake um, with micro to small sized glitter. They recommend two to three coats for this polish. I felt like two was just fine for what I was going for. Okay, so this polish states that glowy holographic flakes, blue shimmer, and a dash of micro holo glitter shine like untouched snow banks to accent the pale gray base of this snow inspired polish. In some lighting it can look pale blue and in others light gray with blue shimmer. Up to Snow Good is a super fun twist on a silvery winter shade. Here on my iPad, you can see the swatches on what it looks like with a deeper skin tone. And here you can see a picture where it pulls with a lot of blue. And other times it just looks more gray. I really liked it. I, I would say for this bottle and every single bottle that I'm going to talk about, the main thing that I have to say about these polishes is what you see is what you're going to get. What you see on these pictures on this website is exactly what the bottle is going to look like when it gets shipped to your house. And once you apply it on your nails, it looks exactly like the polish in the bottle. There's no mystery about these polishes. What you see is what you're going to get. If you like what you see on this website, you're probably going to be very happy with this polish in real life. I feel like I've tried so many polishes that either look amazing on the website or they look amazing in the bottle, but then when I apply them to my nails, it's just not what I thought it would be. But that's not the case with these polishes. Every single one of them, what you see is what you get. The second polish that I picked up is called You Autumn Know, and this is a beautiful, beautiful Crelly. I am a big fan of Crellys. I've probably bought seven or eight over the years and it's been a while but this was in my opinion the most beautiful crelly that they had on the website basically a crelly is like a jelly type sheer nail polish with a bunch of colorful holographic flakes and hexagonal uh, shimmers and glitters that's what makes it a crelly and the description of this is a soft white crelly polish loaded with fuchsia gold and orange glitters. Micro bars further accent the fall palette found in this polish. They describe this as a fall polish. I don't think it's limited to any season. I would wear this 365 days out of the year. Hazel wore this already. We both loved it. I just thought this was a fabulous polish. It is gorgeous. It's everything I was hoping it would be. 
Okay, this next polish is absolutely gorgeous. It is called A Hint of Manila. It is described as a mega flame. I don't really know what that is. I'd probably just call it a glitter polish, but nowhere on this description do I see the word glitter at all. So that's my bad. But this is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of a Zoya polish that has been on my wish list for years and I've never purchased. But this says, we dare you to call this vanilla shade boring. This mega flame polish is loaded with holographic sparkle set against a soft tan base. The shade is perfect in two to three coats and will make filing a pleasure. I loved this. It was gorgeous. It looked pretty good against my skin tone. It is just chock full of glitter. Like I said, I used two coats for every one of these polishes, but I felt like it gave me good coverage in two coats and I love this. I love this. This next polish is very similar to the one I just talked about, but it's a little bit edgier. It's called Celebrate Good Shine. And it is another mega flame polish, which I would just describe as a glitter polish, but no. Glittery shoes, shimmering eyeshadow, and sparkling decor are part of many celebrations, noisemakers on New Year's, ornaments on trees, or a favorite dress for a birthday night out. A bit of sparkle always seems to add that special touch to a celebration. Here it says, Celebrate Good Shine is a pale champagne colored holographic polish, a mix of micro and small glitters and a copper and gold holographic finish combined for a nail polish with mega sparkle. One thin coat can be used as a topper and two to three coats will build up for full coverage. I'm not gonna lie, the swatch picture definitely got me. I love that you could see all of the colors of the rainbow in that picture. I just thought it was stunning. It is slightly chunkier than the um, last polish. Here, I'll show you the two polishes together. So this is a hint of Manila and this is Celebrate Good Shine. They're similar, but not the same. And a hint of Manila, it's just a little bit more sophisticated. A little bit more mature and this one's a little bit edgier I think very similar though okay this next polish is the first multi chrome I'm gonna be talking about I picked up a few duo chromes and multi chromes in this haul this one is called hidden potential and you guys know the deal with multi chromes it never picks up on camera the way it does in real life what i'm seeing versus what you can see on this camera are not the same so i will do my best to include swatch pictures and um, give you as much information but this is called a multi chrome shimmer this nail polish starts with a warm violet hue that shows off in a strong bronze to gold green shimmer in direct lighting. In indirect lighting, this polish truly comes to life, showing off a rainbow of hidden colors, going from a warm, nearly red copper to burnt orange to gold. Hidden potential then shifts easily into hues of green, blue, and navy. Even purple pops out depending on the angle and lighting. This is a truly unique polish in our lineup with its drastically different personalities expressed based on the changes in light, lighting and angles. Best in two to three coats. Again, I only did two coats for this polish. Wait till you see this swatch photo. You guys are going to die. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I tried my best to capture that image on my own nails. I don't know if I did a good job, but you're never gonna get that just by looking at the bottle. Okay, next we have something to taco about. This is a jelly with flakes. It is a bright, like fluorescent green shade. It's a chartreuse leaning lime green jelly loaded with color shifting flakes. From cheddar orange to guac green, these flakes show off a yummy combo of colors. Micro holographic flakes provide a loose linear sparkle for a drool worthy manicure out in the sun. Best in two to three coats. Again, I used two coats. I definitely saw shifts of orange and green all the way down. The greens varied from this like fluorescent chartreuse green all the way down to an emerald green depending on the angle. It is a beautiful polish. It is a specific polish. I'm not gonna to wanna to wear this all the time, but I could definitely see once summer rolls around that I could wear this all summer long. This is so fun. 
I did also pick up two other polishes that are mostly flakies. This is the shade Raking It In, and it's an iridescent shifting flake top coat. In the swatch photos I'm gonna show you, I painted this on top of a white polish, a kind of cobalt blue polish, and a black polish. So you could see how it looks on top of different bases. This is a nod to colorful fall leaves, brightly colored iridescent flakes dance in a clear base, shifting from hues of red, orange, gold, green, and at extreme angles, aqua. This polish can be used in one to two coats over many colors, including white, though darker colors will bring out more vibrant shades. I think I only did one coat with this polish. I don't think I did two coats. Um, here is the amazing swatch pictures on their website like I said these pictures sold me with these polishes easily okay this next flaky polish is another multi-chrome flake top coat this is called yes weekend and this is the polish that started the entire haul I saw this polish featured on some call me Coco's channel that's Diana I love watching her nail polish videos and when she showed swatches of this polish, I was done for. That was it. Again, my swatch pictures show one coat over a white, a blue, and a black polish, just to show you what it looks like on these different polishes. But it says, this is inspired by the freedom of the weekend. Multi-chrome flakies boldly shift from a vibrant green to aquamarine, fuchsia, magenta, and orange. This flake shade is perfect over creams in one to two coats or sponge on in three to four for full coverage. I think, although I'm sure a full coverage of this polish would be interesting, I think what makes this polish look the most interesting is when it's painted on top of a solid dark polish. I liked it over the white too, but I liked it mostly over the black. I think that's where this polish really shines and looks amazing. You can see every color of the rainbow in this polish. It is stunning. None of these polishes look like that much in the bottle, but they are truly amazing when I apply them. Okay, next is another multi-chrome. This is the shade Chroma Chameleon. It's a vibrant shifting shade that morphs from a bright fuchsia pink to a coppery rose, then a soft gold to a spring green color when you change viewing angles. This polish will make even the most talented chameleons jealous. I think you can see some of the colors right at this angle. I don't know if you could see the dark green, but you should be able to see the gold and the fuchsia. The dark green and the aqua are on my side of the bottle. Again, stunning. I really enjoyed this polish. I'm really excited to be able to play around with some of these multi-chromes. I think other than the ones I bought in this haul, I only own one multi-chrome polish and that's uh, actually a duochrome from Kathleen Lights. Um, back when she was doing kale polish. I can't remember what it was called, but these are stunning. Okay, these next two polishes looked very similar and I was debating I'm trying to choose between one or the other. In the end, I bought both and I do see a lot of difference between the two. This first one is called Lady and the Vamp. This is another Mega Flame Glitter Polish. It is described as a deep vampy burgundy red in their mega flame finish. An almost plum colored polish with hints of maroon and aubergine loaded with holographic glitters for the ultimate sparkle. This is a fabulous winter polish. It is just chock full of holographic flakes. It is so beautiful. <laughs> The glitter size is described as micro small, and I would say that I don't see anything big in there. It's all very, very tiny glitter, but very stunning. I really enjoyed this. This is one polish that I wish I would have taken the time to do a clear coat on top. I think it would look even better with a clear coat, but like I said, I just was trying to get these swatches in, and so I didn't have time. I think my hands were looking pretty rough at this point too, so I apologize once again but um, I think this would look even more amazing with a clear coat on top. In general, when I'm just painting my nails, I always use a clear coat. I never do my nails without a top coat, but because I was doing these swatches back to back, I skipped the top coat. 
This next polish is one that I thought was a little too similar to the last one, but I got it anyways. It's called A Raisin to Live. This is described as a jelly polish. Deep and dark, A Raisin to Live is a blackened ox blood polish full of holographic sparkles. The glitter load is described as medium and the glitter size is micro to small. So the chunks of glitter are slightly bigger in this polish than in the last one, but still relatively small. I thought this was very beautiful. Again, I wish I would have taken the time to do a top coat for these darker shades, but hopefully it doesn't affect your ability to see how beautiful they are. But this swatch picture, in this swatch picture, this polish looks like glass. Look at the shine coming off of those nails. Oh my gosh. It's just so be beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, the next polish is my one and only cream polish that I purchased from this whole haul. I really tried to zero in on polishes that were unique and different. Um, from what I currently have and like anything I could buy from the grocery store or any kind of other impulse buy. So even though KB Shimmer does have quite a few like cream polishes, I was steering away from them. But this is the one cream polish I did pick up. It's called Happy Camper. And I would describe this as a Tiffany blue. Like a lot of people, I think the Tiffany blue shade is gorgeous. I think it's so beautiful. This is described as a shimmer with hollow glow flakes. What? That can't be right. There's no way this is a shimmer with hollow glow flakes. I think they got that wrong. Happy Camper is a nod to the popular retro vibe, a near aqua teal leaning robin's egg blue. This bright cream shade would be just as perfect on a pull behind as it would be on your toes at the beach. While the shade gives nearly one coat coverage, we prefer two for a creamy summer ready shade. I don't know why it describes this polish as a shimmer with hollow glow flakes. It's just a cream. Here are the swatch photos. I wish my nails looked like that. Those are gorgeous nails. But yeah, just a Tiffany blue. And I thought it was beautiful. I do love teal polishes so much. These are my favorite polishes to wear throughout spring and summer. So I couldn't pass this one up. Okay, we are down to the last four polishes of this haul. This next one is called Vested Interest, and this might be the weirdest polish out of all the polishes I bought. This is a multi-chrome hollow glow flake. Vested Interest is a multi-chrome shade that shifts between shades of green, teal, and blue. Hollow glow flakes add a touch of sparkle to this vest-inspired shade. Vest in two coats. This was definitely an interesting one. When I was looking at the swatch pictures, all I could see was this kind of weird green shade. I thought it looked a little weak and I wasn't that impressed but then somewhere in here they had the picture of the bottle and when I saw the picture of the bottle I was like oh this is interesting look at this picture of the bottle and then you can see how gorgeous this polish is you can see the green and the purple and the blue it is stunning I tried my best to capture the dimension that's in this polish but I don't know if I did. This polish is definitely a fall and winter polish for me, but I would wear it any time of the year, but I definitely think of fall and winter when I see this polish. This is one of those when I'm looking in my um, camera, I can see how green it is, but on the back side of the bottle back here, it's straight up purple. Voodoo. Okay, this next polish is similar but different. This is called Northern Frights. This is just called a hollow glow flake but it is definitely at the very least a duochrome as well. The glitter load is medium and it has micro to small glitters. This is inspired by the dark night sky and stunning hues of the Northern Lights. The shifty shade is the Aurora Borealis in a bottle filled with hollow flakes. This polish shifts based on viewing angle from an emerald green to a deep indigo purple to an almost navy for the perfect sky inspired polish. I think you could kind of see the purple and the blue. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Another good fall winter polish. I really like dark polishes throughout most of the year. This next one might be my favorite find out of this whole bunch. It's hard to pick a favorite out of all of these polishes, but this was definitely the surprise polish out of this haul. 
This is called Much Lava to You, and it was the last one I added in. I almost skipped this polish, and I'm kind of glad I grabbed it. This is really interesting, and I'm curious to see how they describe it because um, I, I don't have the words to describe this. This is described as a multi-chrome holographic. There's no glitter in this polish at all. There's a lot of holographic shimmer though. They state that this polish is a new addition to their color shifting multi-chrome nail polish line and it is the holographic version of Obsidian. Much Lava to You features a deep, nearly black base, I would describe it as charcoal, accented by linear holographic pigment. Much Lava to You easily shifts to molten hues of umber, crimson, orange, and gold. In bright lighting, the hollow shows off a dazzling rainbow sparkle that is carefully balanced not to obscure this unique color. Covers well in two to three coats. I only use two coats, of course. This shift from this gorgeous red to this like charcoal gray is so interesting and unique. I really was pleasantly surprised by this polish and a part of me didn't wanna take it off after doing my nails. I just thought it was so beautiful and unique. And the final polish that I picked up in this haul is called Carpe Denim. This is a jelly. It's loaded with small silver holographic glitters. It's a dark denim navy jelly polish that offers full coverage in two to three coats. I thought one coat was very interesting looking. You can definitely see more of that navy with just one coat. Then I did two coats and I stopped there, but I would have done three coats and this polish really does need a clear coat on top to really show off how beautiful it is, which again, I did not do. I wish I would have, but I didn't. Again, this is the kind of polish that I could wear 365 days of the year. I don't feel like a dark navy blue has a time of year. I would wear this anytime. And I think the swatch picture on the website is stunning. So those are all of the polishes I picked up from this haul. Like I said, there wasn't a bad one in the bunch. There wasn't a dud. They were all gorgeous and I'm really looking forward to playing with them and wearing them. None of these polishes have been worn on my nails for an extended period of time. I just did swatches, but I did do a manicure on Hazel after I first bought these polishes and they lasted several days on her little hands, which are much rougher than mine. She plays hard and they really held up well on her nails four to five days. Um, I would say three days without any chipping whatsoever, but then on the third day we started seeing some chipping. But like I said, Hazel is rough on her hands. So I was really impressed by that. I am looking forward to seeing how they last on my nails. I generally only paint my nails once every five to seven days at most. So part of my criteria for a good polish is that it needs to last five days on my nails because I don't want to have to paint my nails every day. I don't have time for that. I am not wearing any of those polishes on my nails today. I was trying to get in my third use for this nail teeny polish that I put into my Panners Pan project and I decided to try this new shade from Adored Colors and the top coat it's almost midnight. Isn't that a perfect polish to use on New Year's Eve? This polish adds so much life to my nails. I don't care what the polish looks like that you're putting on first. If you put this one on top, it'll make it better. This polish will make every polish look better. If you have a collection of polishes that you own that you can't declutter, but you're just kind of like meh about, put this on top. It is amazing. I now want to put this polish on top of every single polish I own to see how it looks. It is just stunning. And I've already done the dishes today and there is zero chipping. They look so good. Oh, I love this polish. This brand Adored Colors is run by Judy. She has a, a YouTube channel here and she makes these polishes. So I will leave a link below to her website along with the link to the KB Shimmer website so that you could check out both websites if you're interested. Like I said, if you're on a no buy, I hope you didn't watch this video. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people are trying to start this year out strong, but 
but I did have some requests to film this video. I know some of you guys were very interested in this brand and I wanted to give you my information. At the end of the day, all I could say is this brand is a what you see is what you get kind of brand. I was really impressed with everything and I'm really looking forward to trying these out and playing around with them. I think that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below which polish was your favorite out of all of them. I'm very curious to know what you guys were interested in. I know a lot of us like those weird, like so ugly they're pretty nail polishes, but I felt like a lot of these polishes in this haul were kind of like ugly pretty polishes, but I'm, I'm excited. And some of them are just pretty pretty and others are ugly pretty, but I'm excited to play with all of them. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.